name is Rio Brown and I'll be your host for today. Welcome to the first ever weekly show for the 2022 to 2023 school year. Today is August 23rd and here's the news for today. The device protection plan is available for purchase until September 9th. This plan helps minimize the cost of repairs for Chromebooks and costs $30. It can be bought in the bookstore or by visiting this link here. For more details about what the device protection plan covers, visit this link as well. Reminder that the cafeteria, North, East, and West Cafe courtyards and the library are allowed areas for students to eat at. The reading room, the mall, the East Wing, and the center courtyard, empty classrooms, and classrooms where teachers are currently teaching are not permitted areas to eat lunch. For the next weekly show, we'll be hosting a trivia game show where you could be a contestant competing for a grand prize of money. If you're interested, visit this link. Today is Adam Sandler Tuesday, so wear your best gym shorts and big t-shirts. Tomorrow will be anything but a backpack day, and as the name implies, don't bring a backpack. Thursday is Minion Day, so either dress up like a Minion or wear Minion merch. Friday will be Fear the Fang Friday, so wear any and all spirit wear. Question that just no one can seem to figure out. What fast food chain really has the best chicken sandwich? We're gonna try five of these sandwiches and rank them on Chris's Cuisines. Let's go find out. We have all five chicken sandwiches here. We have KFC, Chick-fil-A, McDonald's, Burger King, Popeyes. I only got chicken sandwiches from everywhere. I, that, that's So uh, we're just gonna try them and see which one's best. Uh, is it gonna be Burger King? No, it's not gonna be Burger King, but we're gonna try it anyway. So let's start off with Popeyes. It's gonna be hard to beat. This, this is how you make a chicken sandwich. Burger King. Surprisingly, this is pretty good. The chicken surprised me. It's nice and crispy, it's nice and juicy. McDonald's. McDonald's, I messed with y'all for real, but Stick to Sprite. I mean, it's all right, I guess. Chick-fil-A. Can't go wrong with a Chick-fil-A chicken sandwich. It slaps every single time, you know. Last but not least, KFC. I mean, not much to say, it's good. Time to decide which of these chicken sandwiches is better. All right, at number five, McDonald's. It's just a Walmart version of Chick-fil-A. Number four, I'm gonna go KFC. Um, I mean, it's whatever. I mean, it's just cold and the chicken isn't, the chicken isn't all that, but the bun is pretty good. Surprisingly, at number three, Burger King. I'm not saying it's the best sandwich. I was surprised. Number two, I'm gonna go Chick-fil-A. It's just a, it's a staple. It's a classic in the fast food industry. You really can't go wrong with a Chick-fil-A chicken sandwich. And the king, number one, is Popeyes. Was there much of a debate? No. Join us next week where we'll be trying a $300 steak. No, I, I won't be doing that. See y'all next time. Back to the weekly show. This is the question of the week. I'm Johnny. And I'm Chris. The question of the week this week is, what are you looking forward to most this year? Very nice. Let's get to it. What's today? <laughs> Craig Miller. All right, Craig, what are you looking forward to most this year? Well, today, uh, this year has started off as a fantastic year, and we're just looking to, for it to continue as an awesome year for everyone. Glad to hear that. Thank you so much, Craig. All right, who am I with today? Gianna. All right, Gianna, what grade are you in? Tenth. And uh, what are you looking forward to most this year? Um, just probably the soccer team and getting good grades. I like that. Thank you so much. All right, so I'm here with Zoe. And what grade are you in, Zoe? I'm a junior. The question of the week is, what are you looking forward to this year? Um, probably homecoming. Why, right, why? Right. Um, All right, that's valid. That's valid. All right, so thank you. All right, so I'm here with Louis Faison. And what grade are you in, Louis Faison? <laughs> I'm a senior citizen at this point. Oh, that's what's up. That's what's up. All right, so the question of the week is, what are you looking forward to this year? Um, it's actually just seeing all the kids and getting back to normal, all the stuff we used to do before, the sporting events, all the club events, and seeing all y'all's faces. Tight, tight. Yeah, that's valid. That's valid. Longest answer I've got in all day. All right, so I'm here with? Uh, this is Beard of Beard Land Productions. And what grade are you in, Beard? Uh, currently, I'm a junior because my daddy's a senior. Word. All right, all right. So the question of the week is, what are you looking forward to this year? Uh, I'm looking forward to you keeping this out of my face. That's number one. Uh, number two, I'm looking forward to Friday night football. Ready to go. Yeah. Valid, valid. I ain't gonna lie. All right. Thank you, Mr. Bid. Appreciate it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, that was the first thing I said. Was. <laughs> <laughs> What's cracking, my? Peace out to the homies in the D. <laughs> All right. That was question of the week. Join us next week. Where we'll be asking anyone else uh, other questions. Uh, if you want to be on the show, just let us know. And uh, off to Tillman with weather.
Hi Vipers, it's Tillman back at it again with your weekly weather forecast. Starting off with today, we're expecting a partly cloudy day with a low of 78 and a high of 97. On Thursday, we're looking at another partly cloudy day with a low of 77 and a high of 97. On Friday, we're seeing a sunny day with a low of 80 and a high of 100. On Saturday, we're seeing a partly cloudy day with a low of 78 and a high, followed by a sunny days on Sunday, Monday, and Tuesday with lows of 77, 78, and 80, and highs of 98, 102, and 105. I'm Tillman Douglas, and that was your weekly weather. Hello, it's Rio again, and I'm doing sports for this week's weekly show. There's not too many sports this week, but in girls volleyball, they have a home match against Westview on August 25th. Freshman at 4, JV at 5, and varsity at 6. New school rules require you to wear your ID at all times. Be sure they are visible, like having it around your neck or off your belt loop. If you lost yours or are in need of a new one, go to the bookstore for a temporary or get a new ID. This Thursday and the Thursdays following after, the Fellowship of Christian Athletes will be meeting up at 745 in the Reading Room. Any and all students are welcome to attend and you don't need to be a part of a sport to take part. Today is the Verado Fencing Club's first meeting and they meet up every Tuesday after school. They meet in E14 until 4.15 p.m. where they spend an hour beating each other with sticks. Today is also Key Club's first meeting where they meet every other Tuesday in the Innovation Lounge. Key Club is a volunteering club where they gain hours to both help the community and create better chances for scholarships. The Green Hand Club will be having their first meeting this Thursday after school. They'll be meeting up in C2 in Mrs. Summer's room. The members meet up to discuss gardening as well as bringing more green to the school. The Speech and Debate Club is also up and running and will be having their first meeting next Tuesday in room E38. Speech and Debate competes in tournaments and looks great on college applications. There's complete freedom on what topics members can advocate for. The club is starting from scratch, so if you have any interest, come and take a look. Club Rush is also tomorrow during both lunches in the small gym, so make sure to check out all the new and returning clubs. Hello, I'm Andrew, the driving expert, and this would have been prevented if Ben did not cut Ryan off and Ryan did not speed. To showcase the multiple achievements from the film class, here are some of the Emmy nominations that we are proud to say came from students of VHS. Leo Juan Marquez for the Daily Bugle Showdown in the category for Animation. Brian Gonzalez Perez for Workplace Injuries in the category for Animation. Ben Dorkson for Sonoran Hot Dogs in the category for High School Multimedia. Brian Gonzalez Perez and Trevor Vieira for Urban Motivation in the category for School PSAs. Chris Marcano, Brian Gonzalez Perez, Benjamin Dorkson, and Ryan Tiffany for Bone Marrow Donation in the category for School PSAs. Benjamin Dorkson, Brian Gonzalez Perez, and Chara Vieira for The Baroness in the category for Fiction Short Film. Benjamin Dorkson and Brian Gonzalez Perez for Space Oddity in the category for Music Video. Brian Gonzalez Perez for Homecoming Promo in the category for High School Editor. This was Rio Brown and this was this week's weekly show. Tune in next time. Have a great day, Vipers.